Welcome to 50 Ways to Succeed at Work, where you hear stuff about ways to succeed, even the most well-intentioned colleagues, advisors, careers officers and HR departments may never get around to mentioning. Today I'm going to talk about being a name magnet, and why names matter at work and how to remember them. Hi, uh, sorry, I forgot your name. I'm, I'm really bad at names. Who isn't? It turns out most people are poor at remembering names. It's not surprising since names are just a bunch of arbitrary words and letters. In isolation, with nothing around them to make them memorable, why should you recall them? Here's a professor of neurobiology who tries to explain why you can't recall them. Human beings did not evolve to remember um, people's names. Indeed, the, the act or the custom of giving each other names is probably relatively recent in evolutionary history. Haven't you had that experience when someone tells you their name and half a minute later you can't remember it? Embarrassing. Yet you have heard so many times that it's essential to recall people's names. Multiply this by 10 when it comes to success at work. So why does it matter so much? Well, most of us cherish our name, even when we deny doing so. Our name is part of who we are. And when someone doesn't remember it, we may feel they are unfriendly, even careless. And that's a bad formula for success at work. Using someone's name at work can therefore suggest that you're dependable, likable, and influential. Hearing their name, the other person hears something comfortable about you. The result is they become easier to work with. As you might guess, forgetting names does the reverse. It reduces your impact without you realizing it. Your failure may leave them feeling slighted and unimportant to you. All the experts on this common failing to recall names seems to say that remembering them is easy. Well, don't believe them. If it was, you'd already be doing it and wouldn't be listening to this now, would you? So let's make one giant leap for name forgetters by understanding what must happen if those elusive names are to firmly be stored in your mind and ready to use when you need them. Five things need to occur to become a name magnet. That's someone who readily recalls names for the benefit of your personal growth and possible success. The five essentials of name recall are wanting, repetition, visualization, reinforcement, and usage. A bit of a mouthful, I know, but they're useful names to hang on the names that you're interested in remembering. First is wanting. There the experts are right. If you don't want to recall a name, you certainly won't, and it's a lost cause. Second, embrace repetition. The moment you hear someone's name, quickly repeat it back to them. No matter how awkward that may sound, just do it. Make it a habit to say the person's name at least three times during your encounter, even when that sounds a bit forced. Remember the other person feels warmed at hearing their name and certainly won't object. Next is visualization. You may not be a particularly visual person, but don't let that deter you. Start with the context. Is there anything memorable about where you are when you hear the name? Then no matter how crazy, rude or extreme, you create a mental image of that person and their name. For example, find something about the person that you can exaggerate or mess with. In your mind, you might turn their messy hair bright blue and flashing lights while mentally saying their name. John with the blue hair that shines in the dark, who I met at the recent team meeting. Or suppose you find their voice a bit harsh. You might create a mental picture of an enormous black crow croaking their name aloud and doing it in the context of where you hear it. The crazier the image, the better. Having done at least something towards remembering the person's name, isn't that enough? Well, not quite. You need to reinforce the learning by returning to it before the end of the day. In your mind, you go back over the encounter and reproduce in your mind the visualization. You might even write down the name in a note of the image. Next comes reinforcement. To become a name magnet, you return to the name and its mental picture at ever-lengthening intervals, daily, weekly, monthly. Sounds a pain? Well, whoever said this name thing was going to be easy, they were clearly wrong. But then success always takes some effort. Being a name magnet can pay dividends in terms of gaining a steady career boost. So what action am I suggesting? Well, first, take recalling names seriously. Make it into a habit. Understand the key stages of remembering. 
use repetition and focusing on a particular feature of a new person to fix the name and the context. And finally, try linking the new name or face with a strong, even strange visual image. To sum up or to take away from this, there are valuable ways to recall names, but first commit to learning a particular name. Recalling names at work can prove vital for your success. You've been listening to an episode of Andrew's 50 Ways to Succeed at Work. For more episodes, subscribe free to my regular weekly podcasts. You can catch up on past ones at the 50 waysite where you can also become a foundation member with access to e-learning units, transcripts, further reading links, and the forum where you can ask questions, share problems, and join a growing community of people who seriously want to succeed at work. Thanks for listening, and bye for now, until next week.